Dave, are there any do's and don'ts that you would recommend for, uh, for people contemplating selling their business that might be watching this and some things that you've seen just kind of come up, you know, from time to time or, or the same time over and over again? Well, yeah, things like uh, it, buyers, okay? Some of the things that buyers need to do and, and need to be uh, aware of is make sure that they're picking the right business. You know, I, I mean, especially website closers, you go to our website and we've got hundreds of businesses for sale. And, and uh, I can see 10 or 15 or 20 that, whoa, that'd be neat to do, or I'd like to do that. But uh, people need to really, when they're looking to buy a business, you need to really make sure that it's the right kind of business for you. Uh, because you're going to be doing this for a number of years, okay? And you're going to be spending a lot of your uh, waking hours doing this. And so you better uh, be in a segment of the market or working with a type of uh, product or if it's a service industry kind of business, one that you really enjoy, one that you can have a passion for. So picking the right business uh, if you're on the buyer side, I think is really, really important. Take time to pick the right business that's for you uh, and because you're going to be doing it for a number of years. So uh, that uh, I've mentioned doing a very thorough due diligence, of, you know, uh, and be aware of that on both the buyer and the seller side. Um, some other things, you know, working with a broker, you know, there's a, a number of places you, people can certainly go to buy a business on their own without a broker involved. Um, a lot of times uh, people don't realize that having a broker involved really it, it saves an enormous amount of time. It, it, it avoids a lot of potential pitfalls um, because a broker does this for a living, right? They've done it hundreds, if not thousands of times. They know what to look for. Uh, and people who are selling a business, they need to work on their business, okay? They need to keep um, uh, doing what they've been doing and not spend partial time on, on growing, you know, continuing their business and partial time on, on trying to sell it because it takes a lot of time uh, to try to self-sell your business. So, you know, there's a lot of folks who say, oh, it's not that hard to do, or my business will sell really quick. It, it's a really good business and I'll have people lining up. Well, uh, I, I know a number of people that have tried and they've come back to us and said, you know, you were right. Uh, I need your help. I need you to take care of it all. I need to focus on my business and, um, you know, here you go. Uh, I'm ready to uh, hire, you know, a, a quality broker like website closer to, to really sell my business. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications about new videos and interviews and introduce yourself in the comments. Are you a buyer or a seller?